Adobe versus DaVinci, Battle of the Titans, but which one is best for you? Let's talk about the biggest difference between the two, and that is pricing. Right out of the gate, Adobe Premiere is gonna cost you $20.99 a month, but that doesn't include After Effects, Photoshop, or Audition. To gain access to those apps, they're an additional $20.99 per app, or a bundle package of $54.99 if you want the whole Adobe suite. The Vigi Resolve, on the other hand, is completely free to download with the option to pay $2.95 and unlock the entirety of the software. But that $2.95 is gonna cover lifetime updates for software and versions that Blackmagic releases. So it's safe to say that price-wise, the Vigi Resolve is offering way more bang for its buck. You can download the software and use it completely free for as long as you want. And if you need to unlock the upgraded features, that's only gonna cost you a one-time $2.95 as opposed to Adobe, which is gonna cost you upwards of $54.99 if you try to go for the whole Adobe suite, and that's gonna to total about $670 a year. Now, let's talk about the interface. Adobe Premiere loses out in looks, but definitely wins out in customizability. Premiere allows you to undock any window and put it anywhere else within your interface that you like. You can close it out, you can make multiple workspaces, and it just makes it super customizable so that you can create the workflow that suits you best. On the other hand, DaVinci Resolve may not be super configurable, but it's very well thought out in its setup. Things are very easy to find, and because of the toggle function, it makes it super easy to keep a workflow clean, but get to it whenever you need to. Okay, let's talk about features now. When it comes to features, both these programs are gonna offer a wide range of editing tools and effects. However, in my opinion, DaVinci Resolve is gonna have the upper hand here due to its all-in-one software. Unlike Premiere, where you have to use Dynamic Link to link to After Effects or Audition, DaVinci Resolve has it all built out in one and it's just a single click to bounce between everything. However, the biggest drawback that DaVinci has is its Fusion tab. Although it is a very powerful tool, due to its node-based style of editing, it's a lot more complex to learn as opposed to After Effects layer style editing that we're also used to. As of right now, I still use After Effects for any of my motion graphics or effects, and then I'll just export that out and bring it into DaVinci Resolve. Premiere's color grading tab is basic in comparison to the industry standard DaVinci Resolve. Although Premiere's color tab is usable, you'll just find yourself being able to go way further with your image in DaVinci Resolve. Premiere does allow you to make beautiful images and you definitely can, it's just once you take that step in learning color grading and DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna realize how much further you can push your picture. Now the last of the features I wanna talk about is audio. When it comes to audio, both of these softwares are very comparable in what they offer. However, in my opinion, after the release of DaVinci Resolve's new AI voice cleanup, it definitely has a slight advantage. Adobe did come out with their software called Adobe Podcast, but it's something you have to go through a browser and do all that process, whereas DaVinci Resolve allows you to do it within the software. Most softwares offer a surprising amount of tools for audio cleanup, pitch shifting, reverb, equalizing, and a whole lot more. Once again though, I have to say DaVinci Resolve wins out here. If you're comparing DaVinci Resolve to Premiere and that's it, then Fairlight is gonna beat out whatever Premiere has to offer in its basic tools. Fairlight is a complete mixing software that has all the features that you're gonna find in Audition. The only problem is Adobe Audition is locked behind that paywall, as I mentioned before. The final thing I wanna talk about is reliability. A lot of people in their reviews are gonna say that DaVinci is just so much more reliable than Premiere. And for the most part, I have seen that that is true. Knowing that you need to proxy your footage so that it's easier on your system, having a system that's capable to run whenever footage you're trying to run, making sure that you're getting approved plugins that aren't sketchy and gonna crash your computer. Some of the things that cause Premiere Pro to crash for me are the exact same things that would probably cause my DaVinci Resolve projects to crash. So I do think that people are a little unfair when they say that DaVinci Resolve doesn't crash near as much as Premiere. Um, because I've noticed that Premiere has been a lot more stable recently than it has been in a while. So if you're new to editing, I highly recommend DaVinci Resolve, not because Adobe Premiere is bad, but because of the pricing, you're not gonna have a lot of skin in the game and there's not a whole lot to lose if you decide that you don't wanna do a lot of editing. But I hope this video helped. I tried to be as unbiased as I possibly could be. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Peace.